Hi guys, uh, I'm Danny. Welcome to our short tour around uh, Hong Kong. But first of all, showreel. <music> Welcome back to see a bit of uh, Hong Kong with its all beauties. As you can see, it's the city with a lot of uh, skyscrapers, and uh, everything is happening also on the sea. As you can see, there a Star Ferry, one of the oldest ferries, uh, which is sailing here in Hong Kong from 1964. Uh, all the landmarks of Hong Kong are the tall buildings and uh, high rises, but in between them there are a lot of parks and a lot of fountains which uh, make the city a bit more fresh. You can find also a lot of uh, nice sculptures all around and uh, later you will see also uh, very nice uh, buildings. Uh, Hong Kong is uh, one of the biggest ports uh, in Southeast Asia and here is the famous bridge which connects the different islands here in Hong Kong and uh, as you can see all the landmarks of Co Hong Kong which look beautiful uh, especially during the summertime when we have the uh, light festival which uh, you should really see because it looks uh, really beautiful. Uh, the time to visit Hong Kong in summer is not really good because it's a typhoon season, but you could check, of course, during the winter time. As you can see, it can be really beautiful. This is Peninsula Hotel, which is very famous. And uh, of course, you have to visit the night market uh, uh, in uh, Hong Kong. Uh, you don't have to buy anything, but for sure you will find something with a really good price there. Here you can also see people walking their pets around uh, Hong Kong. I had to take this picture. And of course, you have to visit for sure the horse races, which are every Wednesday and Saturday. And uh, Hong Kong, in front of it, you can see also uh, Disneyland, which is on Lantau Island. And as I mentioned before, here are uh, nice uh, buildings and uh, a lot of churches, which looks look really amazing between all these uh, high rises and uh, skyscrapers. They are really well maintained and uh, look really beautiful. Meanwhile. If you are in some period in uh, Hong Kong, you can also uh, visit depending which is uh, time of the year. Like here, ho horticulture uh, fair, which uh, it was uh, in March uh, uh, held, but because of all this situation now, we will see if it will uh, continue in that period or not. And of course, you have to for sure see and go to visit the peak, the most interesting park in Hong Kong. You can go by foot walking or you can go with the tram. As you can see, it's amazing view of uh, Hong Kong from the peak. And um, all in total, there are a lot of shopping malls, which can look like this, really amazing, with a lot of shops, and uh, you can find uh, very interesting places, as I mentioned, the churches all around. What you must also go and taste uh, in uh, Hong Kong is the so-called high tea, which uh, is the best ones are 
in Peninsula and in the Ritz Hotel and uh, that is one of the must of Hong Kong and now we will start with our small tour around the places in Hong Kong. So here we are, this is the butter goulash with the cappuccino which looks very, very delicious. And I'll tell you later how it is. The chicken there is part of the chunk of the muscle pie. And uh, we are in the Pan Cotidiana. They have uh, found the corner here, and which is very nice and cozy in the middle of the city, in one of the most um, busiest parts of the city, where you can see a lot of traffic passing by. where you can come one morning when you are sick and tired of running around Hong Kong to see everything what it has and it has really a lot so you come to this nice area you can have a, a brunch or maybe breakfast and lunch depending what you want so of course you can find different things like Japanese ramen and uh, as I say uh, to the end where you can find also different deliciousies from Belgium of course and uh, here we go it's not a very busy street which is very nice it's not crowded with so much people mostly because now it's still not sunshine which will come within half an hour or so then a lot of business people will come to eat let you see it's really nice decorated with all these skyscrapers around and old buildings but you can just come and enjoy one peaceful and romantic morning and or the afternoon if you wish to come just for lunch and some coffee afterwards This was our short presentation of uh, Hong Kong. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. Comment below if you have any questions, uh, please uh, ask and we will be happy to answer to you. Also, you, could subscribe, uh, you can subscribe to our channel and see all the nice places where we are going around.